Hey guys, um, welcome to another edition of what have I got myself into this time? So this is a sort of friend of a friend request to see if I could help out. And he called up and he said um, his friend of mine has a garage and he has a battery charger that doesn't work and he can't find anyone to repair it. Oh, will you have a look at it for him? I said sure, have him drop it round and I'll have a look. Anyway, uh, Muggins here was naively thinking this was going to be a, just a, a regular battery charger for the average, you know, car battery. No, no, it's uh, not one charger, but two chargers, and they're chargers for an electric vehicle. <laughs> so, uh, not quite exactly the same thing. Anyway, so I opened the two of them up, and uh, they both suffer from, you know, dried out electrolytics. So in the power supply for this one, which is the one that has less damage, I could only find a problem with the two electrolytics in here. Uh, they just dried out. You could shake them and they'd rattle, <laughs> which I haven't seen before. But anyway, they're right up against the copper heatsink, so I imagine it gets quite hot in there. So I've ordered up the electrolytics for both of these things, and uh, we'll swap them out. Uh, this one, much worse condition altogether. Um, so when I took the electrolytics out, there's a dead short across one of them. And uh, I just basically had to keep taking components out of circuit until it went away. And it turns out to be the big MOSFET that's in here, which is mounted to a uh, heatsink. So this MOSFET is the fuse. <laughs> um, so I had to take it all apart. I've ordered up the MOSFET and uh, there's a sense there's another one here. I thought if you're doing it to this devil, let's replace them both. So I've got both of the MOSFETs on order and uh, the electrolytics. And I thought I would change the bridge rectifier as well, which goes here. Because if we had a dead short on this thing, uh, I don't know how long it held up until this guy lit out the magic smoke. And you can see uh, it shows up in the camera, but it's all bubbled up and burned here as well um so yeah so uh that's where we are i've ordered up the parts and uh when they come in um we'll put it all up together and case it up um now one of the challenges with this thing is because it's a fairly complicated device for instance there's a whole controller over here with a rom on it and the rom has to be programmed for the specific type of battery installation that you're hooking this thing up to um, and so I really don't know anything about the, the, the secondary side of this so um, if I can get it to power up without going kabang then that's probably as much as I can do here um, and uh, the other thing it's worth mentioning is um, it's built in such a way that they don't want you to open it up so it has these special screws here which have like a very small Torx type uh, fitting. And uh, for where these heat sinks were over here, uh, mounting the MOSFETs, the, um, the Torx uh, depression was filled with glue. So you couldn't put anything, you couldn't get anything in it to turn them. Um, and so I had to drill them out. Um, and then to get the rest of them out, see if I can show you on here. Uh, this is one I salvaged um, and you can it looks like the sort of thing that self taps uh, into the uh, into the metal um, and I think they're the sort of things it's hollow down the center which is weird and I get the impression they're the sort of things you use just once and throw them away you know and if you're going to use a to replace it you'd have a fresh one um, and of course I have no idea uh, how I'd get any of these so for the main heat sinks, I've just drilled them out and tapped them to M4 and got a couple of low profile bolts and that'll do that. I'm not sure if... I, uh, there was no glue in, in the depression on these ones that was holding the MOSFETs in and so I have a feeling I can maybe try and reuse these to refit the MOSFETs to the heatsink. We shall see. If not, I'll end up drilling them out and tapping. So, funny games. The other thing is, this whole thing is obviously coated with varnish. And so simply just unsoldering things <laughs> is great fun. Um, and then when you get things out, uh, when you finally get the components out, 
it generally leaves a, um, a coat of that varnish uh, all around the um, the through hole uh, plating and so you got to get that all that off uh, if you want the replacement uh, soldering to work so there we go and um, yeah different for me uh, so we shall see how this goes um, more uh, once I've got uh, the components and we start putting everything back together